hare and the tortoise. A hare, vainly boasting of her great speed in running and casting a look of disdain upon a tortoise that was slowly moving along, "'What a poor crawling thing are you,' said she. "'I can go over a territory of country with the velocity of the wind, "'while well, you are an hour in accomplishing a journey of half a furlong. "'In a race I could leave you twenty miles behind me "'in the time you were about reaching the end of one.' "'I don't know that,' said the tortoise, "'and will give you a trial.' Uh, "'Upon this a match was made to run a certain distance, "'and the fox, who had heard the dispute, was chosen umpire of the race. They then started together, and away went the hare with great swiftness, and soon left the tortoise out of sight, and thinking herself certain of winning the race, she made a jest of the matter, squatted down in a tuft of fern, and took a nap, concluding she could easily make up the lost ground should the tortoise at any time pass by. Indulging in this security, she overslept herself, until the tortoise, in a continued steady pace, arrived first at the distance fixed and won the race. Application. We must not flatter ourselves with coming to the end of our journey in time if we sleep by the way, and unnecessary delays in all pressing affairs are just so much time lost. Action is an important part of the business of life, and up and doing is a motto we ought to keep in mind, as it has guided many a plain plodding man with steady aim to carry his point effectually in making his own fortune and at the same time gaining the esteem of the world. Industry and application to business make amends for the want of a quick and ready wit, but men of great natural ability and vivacity of imagination often presume too much upon the superiority of their genius, and if to, and if to this presumption they add pride and conceit, they despise the drudge drudgery of business and suffer their affairs to go to disorder or ruin through idleness and neglect.